All right, I got to read this here. It ties into the last bit of news we're going to talk about today. This person says, I need to vent. Just read the Observer story that Raw Underground is done. This is what is hemorrhaging viewers. Why should I care? I'm not even that invested in Raw Underground. I just have no faith that I'm not completely wasting my time investing in any of this. If I watch a movie and a main character is killed off, I wouldn't expect them to show up in the next scene or pretend a major plot twist didn't happen. I've watched for 30 years. I can't take any more. What's the point? Thanks for all you do. I'll continue to follow through your site and audio. Well, I want to say something here. I'm actually going to defend WWE in this case because this is not a situation where they came up with an idea for Raw Underground and they did it for a month and then Vince just got sick of it or he forgot about it and it's gone. This was actually the result of an issue that occurred in WWE and that is their latest outbreak. The reason there is no Raw Underground is because Raw Underground was a segment that involved Raw talent, SmackDown talent, and NXT and Performance Center talent. So the reason there is no Raw Underground is because after the latest outbreak, which they were very much, I'm not saying they were happy about the previous ones, but they were really mad about the last one. They don't want to do anything, and this is ironic, by the way, if you watched the SmackDown lineup tonight. The story is they don't want to do anything that involves the mixing of the brands. So, because Raw Underground features talent from all three brands, their concern is, well, if something happens in Raw Underground, then because there's individuals from all three brands involved, like, this could take down Raw, SmackDown, and NXT, and the Performance Center. So, what they want to do is they want to keep the Raw crew with the Raw crew, the SmackDown crew with the SmackDown crew, the NXT crew with the NXT crew, and the Performance Center folks in the Performance Center. Now, obviously, listen, it ain't going to work, okay? Because as soon as the shows are over, everybody just mingles. And that's why that's why we have had outbreaks, by the way, is everybody mingling outside of the show. I realize that people make fun of WWE's independent contractor situation, but, I mean, you can't tell the talent... That They cannot hang out with their friends when the show is over. Ironically, back in the day, in a lot of territories where wrestlers actually were independent contractors, they were told they couldn't hang out with their friends because they didn't want baby faces and heels seen together in public and they could fire you over it. But the reality is they're trying. The, the removal of Raw Underground, which I, I'm sure that at some point Raw Underground is going to return... The reason they're doing it is they're trying to just avoid taking down three rosters in the Performance Center if there's an outbreak involving somebody who is participating in Raw Underground. Now, you can you can point out that people mingle outside the event. You can point out that they just did a draft and we got Raw and SmackDown performers on SmackDown tonight. I realize all of that. But that is the reason that Raw Underground is gone. This is not a situation of Vince forgot about it or he's sick of it or whatever. It was it was because of COVID. That's why there's no raw underground right now. Well, speculatively, do you think it looks the same when it comes back? Or do you think they actually make some adjustments to it aesthetically? They do some things and they, they change how raw underground works or how it looks? I don't or know why they, they bother. The I mean, is. listen, whether you liked raw underground or not, I mean, I don't really know how you can make it that much better, the way that they want to, to book the thing. I mean, I guess you could change what it looks like, but that's not going to make any difference. I guess you could change it being inner brand, but that's not well, going to make... There's here, nothing that's going to make any difference. So, like, if you're going to do it, just do it the way they were doing it. Not... I mean, yeah, because it's, you know, the thought of it being Shabbat-like, where it's like you do have guys like Matt Riddle, and, you know, there, there's plenty of people, if you wanted to actually do something that incorporated real athletics and wrestling and and moves into it, I mean, Timothy Thatcher would be a perfect person to show up on Raw Underground, but it doesn't have that 19 million cut, you know, fight scene. You know, he wouldn't be involved in that, but I would love to actually see some good chain wrestling, some grappling, and some things like that that aren't Dabakato and Braun Strowman running into each other and falling off the platform. Well, the reality is we did get some of that, and also, I mean, listen, Braun Strowman and Dabakato... Like, neither of them are fighters. So, when you put the two of them together, what you basically have is UFC 1. 
<laughs> Great. Yeah. I'm fine I with that. You know. <laughs> it's not like it's going to go. Listen, it's not like you're going to say, Braun, Dabakato, you got nine minutes. Go in there and have a fake fight. Like, they're going to go in there and they're going to have a bad fake fight for 30 seconds. They're both going to be gassed and they're going to end it. Like, I'm fine. Whatever. I mean, <laughs> it's either it is what it is. It's not going to get better. It's not like they're going to have somebody come in to teach everybody how to shoot. It's just like a goofy segment they do on Raw. It doesn't make any difference one way or the other. Some would argue it hurts the show, but, dude, eh, I don't know. Maybe it does. But, hey, I mean, look, if, if it hurts if the it, show, it's because of bad booking. Like Daba Kato getting a big push and then be, getting beaten in 30 seconds by Braun Strowman. If there was no Raw Underground, they're going to book badly on the main roster anyway. So what difference does it make? Well, I'll tell you what. If they continue to put... Uh... Big Swole on TV and AEW. At least have her in the same type of situations. Just let her and Nyla Rose punch each other because I don't want to see her do any more wrestling for right now. Just, just thump. All right, back in a moment with more, everybody. Wrestling Observer Live.